South Florence, please stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The senior class a donation drive for Florence and Darlington Area Humane Society for the entire month of February. Pet food, blankets, towels, dog treats, newspapers, and other pet related items will be accepted for donation. Good morning South Florence. My name is Adelaide Sprawls and I'm your sophomore class president. My name is Abigail Jordan and I am your sophomore class secretary. My officers and I will be selling honey buns and chips the week of February the 8th. We will be selling these items at the downstairs elevator at all four lunches. Everything will be one dollar. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, South Florence. Hey there, South Florence. I'm Sarah Danner, your National English Honor Society Vice President. And today I'm here to talk to you about new membership because we are now accepting applications for the 2021-2022 school year. In fact, this year it has been so rewarding for me and just to give you a little behind the scenes, some of our current service projects are um, partnering up with a local nursing home and becoming pen pals with their residents, um, starting a book drive to fill up the free little libraries among our community. Um, we also have a book club where we, you know, discuss literature and our passion for reading. So if any of this interests you at all, and if you are a rising junior or senior, I'm sorry, no current seniors, only rising junior and seniors, please go online to the NEHS website and complete an application. You can turn that into Ms. Franco, Ms. Finkley, or Ms. Helton. Um, we do need these in by March 26th, and then the induction ceremony will be held at a later date in April. The next PEARLS meeting is virtual on Tuesday, February 9th at 7.45 a.m. Reminder that the February project is due by next Tuesday, February 9th. Please bring your items to Ms. Powell in room 230. Check the PEARLS Google Classroom daily for updates. Attention sophomores, it's class ring time. Don't miss out on this opportunity to be part of the long-standing tradition of proudly earning your South Florence High School class ring. Jostin's representatives will be on hand to showcase ring options and help you plan for this exciting milestone in your life. Mark your calendars for the following events. On February 9th and 10th, from 9 o'clock to 9.20, the sophomore class will be having a virtual ring meeting. On February 16th and 17th from 11.50 to 1.50, Jostens will be having a ring showcase and a question and answer session at South Florence. And March 1st is the deadline to order your South Florence High School class ring. Please see Ms. Nero for any questions. The Parent Teacher Conference Day is scheduled for February 12th 
from 2 o'clock to 345. If you would like to set up a time to speak with your child's teachers, please call our guidance office and they will be happy to assist you. We are going to have a beta club meeting on Wednesday, February 17th, B-Day, and Thursday, February 18th for A-Day at 7.45 a.m. in the auditorium. Thank you. Seniors, if you have not purchased your cap and gown, you need to do so as soon as possible. June will be here before you know it, and we want all of our graduating seniors to celebrate with us. Please reach out to Miss Nero if you need any assistance. The nurses are actively tracking all COVID-related cases in the nurse's office for all South Florence High School students and staff, even while we are not here in person. If you are not feeling well or have any questions, please reach out to them. As a reminder, they need to know if you are being tested for COVID for any reason, have been exposed to someone who has COVID, or have COVID yourself. You can call them at 843 758 6477 or email them at hope.camper at fsd1.org and bwaller at fsd1.org. Good morning, South Florence, and happy Friday. It's almost the weekend. I hope you have all had a great week while having to face these cold temperatures. You may be staying inside this weekend as the temperatures will be fairly cold and there will be occasional showers today and tomorrow, Saturday. Next week is looking pretty wet with showers from Tuesday through Saturday. Even though the temperatures on Monday through Wednesday will be slightly warmer, there's a slight chance of snow next weekend. Thank you for watching today's weather forecast, South Florence, and I promise to keep you updated. Good morning and welcome to South Florence High School. Uh, this morning we have joining us uh, Mr. Hassan Wilson, senior running back from our football program. Uh, he is joined by his father, Mr. Greg Wilson, and his mother, Ms. Cassandra. Uh, Hassan is going to announce his college signing and his commitment today. Uh, we will ask him a few questions. We'll ask the parents a few questions. It'll be kind of question and answer style. Uh, and then we will uh, allow Hassan to sign his letter of intent there that's sitting in front of him. All right, so we're going to start with some questions here. Uh, Hassan, why don't you go ahead and tell everybody where you're going to play football next year. UNC Charlotte. Hassan will be playing football for UNC Charlotte uh, next year. He will attend there uh, beginning in August or July, kind of depending on his plans. Um, Hassan, can you please tell everybody that's kind of watching, tell everybody why you chose UNC Charlotte. Tell them what it was about maybe the campus or the program that, that really intrigued you. Well, the coaching staff really made me feel like a part of the family from day one. And that was a really big part of it. And Charlotte overall is just a good school, it's just a good community. I love everything around it, and I can't wait to get down there. All right. So for the people that don't know, tell them what is the, the mascot uh, for UNC Charlotte? Uh, Norm the Niner. Okay, so their, their mascot is Norm the Niner, and their nickname is the Charlotte? 49ers. 49ers, very good. Um, so tell everybody kind of what's going to be your major. Have you made a decision on that? Are you going to wait a little bit? Um, and why did you choose that? I will be majoring in business and because I've always wanted to do something with business in college. All right. Uh, we're going to jump over to uh, Ms. Cassandra here. Uh, Ms. Cassandra, how do you feel about sending Hassan off to Charlotte? It's, it's kind of not too far, but it's not real close. Um, how is that? How do you feel about that? Um, obviously, you know, he's my baby. So sending your child away from home is, you know, it's a good thing and it's like a bad thing. It's, it's bittersweet. I'm happy for him because he's starting a new chapter in his life, um, but I, I'm going to miss him when he leaves. Absolutely. 
All right, um, Dad, Mr. Greg, uh, do you have any advice um, for any anyone in Hassan's position that's going to be a senior in the future uh, that's going to be going through the process of choosing a school, the recruiting process? Yes, um, hearing it from different universities who's interested in Hassan, don't wait until you junior C to get your academic um, in line. Could he go back further than junior C to actually start in your freshman year? So just be focused on your academics because regardless of how good you is on the field, you still gonna have to get in the school itself with your academics. Absolutely, and we appreciate that. Uh, Hassan, last question for you. So um, you got a big change coming up in your life. Uh, you're, you're coming from, from South Florence, which is a, a pretty large school in South Carolina, but you're going to be stepping foot onto a, a pretty big college campus at UNC Charlotte. So what are your immediate goals when you get to Charlotte? What are some things that you want to accomplish uh, in your first month there? Well, I need to make my statement as soon as I step on campus. That is my number one goal. Of course, I'm going to keep my grades in line. I plan to be, by the, by the time I graduate, I plan to be an academic All-American. But the biggest thing is to making my statement, making sure the coaches know why I'm there, and making sure I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do so everything falls in line the way I want it to. Very good. All right, Hassan, you have your letter of intent there in front of you. If you want to go ahead and sign that thing and, and make your uh, commitment official to the U University of North Carolina Charlotte, uh, that would be awesome. All right, Mr. Hassan Wilson, uh, the newest member of the University of North Carolina Charlotte 49ers. Uh, joining us now is head football coach, Coach Drew Marlowe. Um, we want to bring Coach Marlowe in, say a few words about Hassan. Um, coach, coach Marlowe, can you tell us a little bit about uh, Hassan uh, and his work ethic? I know that he was uh, injured for most of the season, um, but please talk about his, his work ethic up to that point and even so much as, as what he's done since that point to heal and to recover. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I got here just over a year ago, and Hassan was one of the, the first guys who I talked to when I got here. Um, could tell right off the bat that he came from a great family uh, and, and really uh, wanted to be the best version of himself every day, which is something that is important in our program. Uh, and uh, it worked hard all summer. Unfortunately, he suffered a season-ending injury before our season really even got started. Um, but he has worked hard since then to, to put himself in this position. Um, he deserves all the credit in the world for, for where he is, and I know he'll continue to work hard and do well in the future at UNC Charlotte. Coach Marlowe, thank you. And Hassan, uh, South Florence High School is proud of you, and we look forward to watching you excel in the future, buddy. All right, good afternoon. We are here with Kenny Frederick Jr., uh, senior defensive lineman, who's going to be signing here in just a few minutes. Uh, we'll let you tell, we'll let him tell you where he's going to sign. Uh, joining Kenny is his dad, Kenny Sr., mom Rosa, and his sister Kendra. Uh, so this is going to be a question and answer style signing. So we'll answer, ask Kenny a few questions. We'll ask mom a few questions. We may put his sister on the spot here in just a minute and ask her something as well. All right. So Kenny, I'm going to let you start off. I'm going to let you go. I'm just going to put it all out there. Where are you going to school? Newberry College. All right, Kenny is going to go to Newberry College. All right, so tell everybody who's listening kind of why you chose Newberry College. Uh, what was it when you went and visited the campus? Uh, was it part of the football program? What really made you choose Newberry over some other schools? I chose Newberry because academically it was going to fit right with me. And for the sports program, it fits just like how home is at South Florence. So that's why I chose there. So Newberry is kind of a small school. You like that small school feel, not real big, not real spread out. Everything's kind of in one area. Yes, sir. All right. Um, so tell everybody, what is what is Newberry's mascot? Newberry mascot is the Wolves. All right, so Newberry Wolves, and where is it located? Newberry, South Carolina. Newberry, South Carolina, straight up I-26, uh, just above Columbia. All right, Kenny. So if you, if, everybody knows you go to college, you don't just get to play sports. You got to pick something to major in. What are you going to major in? At the moment, I am undecided, but I'm leaning towards sports management. All right, sports management for Kenny. Uh, I'm going to jump over to mom and dad real quick. Uh, Mr. Kenny Sr., all right, how do you feel about sending your little, not so little, big boy uh, off to college here in a few, uh, few months? Well, we're going to hate to see him go. <laughs> then again, he's going to be glad because he eats too much. So we're going to really miss him while he's going to college. Hope he don't come home too often. <laughs> 
other than that, we're really going to miss him. All right. Uh, Miss Rosa, uh, do you have any advice for other seniors, um, any sport, doesn't have to just be football, who are trying to decide on where they might want to go to school in the future? Um, just do your research and go visit the campus and ask all the questions um, that you may um, be concerned about. Just ask all the questions, the right questions, the financial, as well as um, the athletic, if they're going for football or sports. And also, it was very helpful um, just speaking with the coaches and, um, and looking at the surroundings. Very nice. Safety. Very good. Um, Kendra, I got to put you on the spot. Are you older or younger? Older. Are you going to miss your brother? Yes. Yeah, all right. I figured you would. <laughs> all right, Kenny, so the last question I'm going to ask you, um, what are your immediate goals when you get to campus in July, August? Um, you're going to be making a big transition in your life, going from high school to, to college, um, trying to try to manage that schedule. What are your immediate goals when you get there, trying to get used to all of that? Well, my immediate goal is really just to um, get used to the surroundings, really, and focus on schoolwork and football, on really. Okay. Um, all right, Kenny. So um, I'm going to let you go ahead and, and sign your letter uh, letter of intent there to Newberry College. All right. So that'll make Kenny the newest member of the Newberry Wolves football program. All right, we got Coach uh, Marlowe joining us here, head football coach at South Florence High School. Uh, coach Marlowe, um, I know you're very proud of, uh, of Kenny and, and all of his accomplishments so far. Uh, can you talk to us just a little bit about um, what he meant to our team and, and what he'll mean for your program going forward? Absolutely. Uh, Kenny was, was the heart and soul of our program. Uh, he is um, what I hope all of our young players uh, look up to uh, and aspire to be. He's a hardworking young man, very respectful. Uh, doesn't make excuses and um, always, always, always gave um, his very best effort every single day. No, no matter whether he was feeling great, whether he was banged up, a little bit sick, no matter what it was, um, Kenny you know, really embodied uh, what we uh, hope all of our football pr players will embody in the future. Um, and, and Coach Marley, you kind of honored Kenny in, in a special way, something with his jersey. You could tell us about that. I did. Uh, for as long as I'm the head football coach at South Florence High School, no other player will wear uh, number 44. And um, that was, you know, something that I wanted to do in front of our whole team at the end of the year, um, just again to really emphasize um, this is what uh, we want all of our players to look like moving forward. All right, uh, Kenny, uh, South Florence, we're, we're so proud of you, man, and we look forward to seeing everything you're going to do in the future. Yes, uh, just keep making us proud and keep working hard, okay? Yes, sir, I got you. All right.